Who gets the deposit check if the deal doesn't close? It may not be that easy to get the deposit check. Now, I'm not talking about during that conditional period where the buyer doesn't either get their financing or their home inspection. Then normally both parties sign a mutual release and the deposit is returned to the buyer. I'm talking about when it's a firm deal and one of the parties doesn't close. They are in breach of a legally bound agreement. So you might think, okay, well, whoever was in breach, whoever was in fault, um, it should be the other person that automatically gets the deposit. But that isn't always the case unless both parties are in agreement and do a mutual release. You would think that the listing brokerage, which holds the deposit, they can determine who's at fault and just give the check back to either the buyer or the seller. Not the case. They're not allowed to. It has to be a court that decides who was in breach of the contract and therefore the other party gets back the check. Now, if your deposit is less than 20,000, you can go to Smalls Claims Court and um, it will take a little bit of time, but it's not that much money. If it's greater, then it can be a more long and costly process to get that check back. So my advice would be, if you're a buyer, stick to your commitment. And if you're a seller and a buyer for some reason can't close, they may, not, they may need a little bit more time to get the funds or something like that. Um, if they ask for an extension, it's always a good idea to ask for an additional deposit and make it non-refundable.